information has come to my attention that we must discuss. I'll be waiting at Tilda's. It's proven to be a useful headquarters for my inquiries into the Zenith base. And don't worry. I haven't disturbed her precious art. Fine. I'll be there when I can. Philip, I can. So this is where Tilda tried to reel you in. What was her proposal? That together you could save the planet? Just as your precious genetic mother always wanted? I believe the old ones called that a bait and switch. Luring you with the promise of a vibrant new world. When in reality, it's doomed to be cracked open by nemesis and scoured of life. If you're trying to get a rise out of me about Tilda, it's not gonna work. And if you really believed we have no future, you wouldn't be here. And perhaps I'm just waiting to see if you can once again achieve the impossible. Speaking of which, my preparations for Nemesis have revealed a new problem. I've been searching the remains of the Zenith base for any data that could help us. In doing so, I discovered that 13 of our spacefaring friends descended to Earth from the Odyssey. But we only found 12 corpses total, including Verbena at the biotech lab. Your math is impressive as always, but yes, it appears that one got away. His name is Walter Landra. In the 21st century, he was an aerospace magnate, but also a bit of a celebrity. I'm sure I don't have to tell you that he's far too dangerous to be allowed to roam free. You need to find him and deal with him. You said you've been searching through the Zenith base. Did you find anything that can help against Nemesis? Well, I believe our best option is to unearth powerful technologies from the Zenith, the ancient past, or both. And with such knowledge in hand, we might be able to build a weapon to hurt Nemesis in a way that it can't currently anticipate. Surprise attack? I like it. Don't get your hopes up. I found a few leads, but nothing concrete. It would be a long search, I fear. So Laundra made his fortune by selling spaceships? Not exactly. He built ships and drones that could mine near-Earth asteroids for rare metals, generating untold riches. I'm starting to see why you're worried. Indeed. Thanks to us, he no longer has access to the Odyssey or the Zenith base, but he likely has extensive knowledge of potent old-world technologies. As such, he represents both a threat and an opportunity. You think he might know about something that can help with Nemesis? It's possible, yes. You said Walter Landra was a bit of a celebrity. What does that mean? Although he made his money in aerospace, he put vast sums into the production of holographic entertainment. In fact, his wife was a famous actress. The two of them were often featured in tabloids and other media. Tabloids. A type of uh, news outlet that tracked the personal lives of celebrities, allowing legions of fans to live vicariously through the rich and famous. Oh. Yuck. So where do you think Laundra went? The coast, far to the south. 
an area wrecked by tectonic shifts and volcanic activity. The few Tanakh who eventually referred to it as the Burning Shores. But a thousand years ago, it was called Los Angeles, a hub for the technology and entertainment industries. Londra's space mining company, Heaven Sent, was headquartered there. It stands to reason he would retreat to familiar territory. I'll send you the coordinates. So, are you ready to track down our rogue zenith? Okay, to the burning shores then. Proceed with caution, Eloy. I suspect Londra is even more devious and resourceful than the other zeniths. Aw, oh, silence. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were actually concerned about my safety. fighting a giant machine or something. Hey, Beta, I'm actually on my way to the Burning Shores. Oh, right. Uh, Gaia and I heard about your mission from Silence. Be safe, okay? We'll be here if you need us. We'll do. Thanks. Andra's headquarters shouldn't be far. flying just now? Yeah, just, uh, not my best landing. Damn, more machines. Stay back. I'll handle this. Hold on. I can help, too. Let's see what you got. those glowing crystals? It's one hit to death. Yeah, okay, got it.
some more rope. Hold your own. The name's Seika. Aloy. I could, uh, say the same about you. You have, you have a focus. focus. So you're Quinn. You're not exactly like any diviner I've met. How do you even know that? I'm sure you have a lot of questions, but first... Just one for now. I saw you before you crashed, flying on a sunwing. It didn't look like you knew about that tower, which means you're new. So what brought you here? I'm looking for someone. There's a ruin. On the hill northeast of here, that's where I was headed. Ruin on the hill? You mean Starlight Rise? You know it. Is there another way to get there? Maybe. But first, we're gonna have to do something about that tower. I think we can help each other, Aloy. The tower's not far from where my people made camp. I can show you the way. Uh, hold on. You said we can help each other, but... What exactly are you doing here? Let's just say... I need that tower dealt with, too. Come on. This way. Follow me. We'll have to take my skiff to get to the settlement. What were you doing out here anyway? The skiff's rudder is a bit off. I was after some parts to fix it. And sometimes, you just need to hunt alone. like that before. Me and Agira head back at the settlement, roped it together. Works well enough. That'll do it. Oh, 
Oh no. Not another one. Whoa. Like I said, there's no getting to Starlight Rise so long as that tower's there. Okay. Casting off. Huh. Sure beats rowing. I've had a lot of time to improve her design. How long have your people been here? Uh, about a year, I think. We hit this massive storm crossing the Great Ocean. Lost half the fleet and our bearings. It was a miracle we even made it to these shores. We've been stuck here ever since. See, I'm, uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Just how many of you are left? Not as many as there should be. We've had other troubles since the shipwreck. And some of those remaining aren't much help. Sounds like you're not thrilled to go back. Bringing back an outlander is certainly going to complicate things. It'll be fine. Just follow my lead and let me do the talking. If you say so. That's it on your left. Lead 10. Uplifting name. We weren't in great spirits when we made landfall. Okay, here we go. I don't know anything further. May I be dismissed? No. You will remain here until the traitor returns. You! Here we go. Sorry. One act of treason breeds another, it seems. Stealing a diviner's focus, leading a barbarian into our midst. Where's the Quinn I know? Arrest them both. Remove their focuses at once. Arrest us? This is a matter for the Admiral, not a compliance officer. <sighs> By all means. It's true. Sacred stole the focus. Who's the barbarian? She's done for. Things seem kind of tense around here. It's not our best day. Admiral Garrett! It's as I told you, sir. The proof is now before your eyes. A soldier dared to don a diviner's focus. The eye that reveals the legacy. But Seika did not stop there. She brought a barbarian among us. In direct violation of confidentiality clause 3A. Protocol states that these- I might be our last chance at finding our missing people, sir. Diviner Vi's focus showed me his last moments. He found a clue. The ruin on Starlight Rise. There's evidence our people were there. Andra's headquarters. Now we have no means of safe passage. Not in our current situation. But she might have another way. Remember the law, sir. Focus is for a Diviner. No one else. Seika's actions are indeed concerning. And there will have to be a reckoning. But finding our lost crew is paramount. If Seika has a chance of bringing them back, our course is clear. Even compliance must recognize that. I will allow it. Seika and the Outsider are free to pursue this lead. But, sir, if... Outlander, 
I'd like a word when you have a moment. Hmm. You okay? I shouldn't have said that. It's just that... My sister is one of the missing. Not only that, she's our last navigator. Our only means of getting home. I've got to find her. Even if it means using a forbidden relic. Meanwhile, Rang and the others act like I'm the problem, when in reality, I'm the only one looking for a solution. Look, I, I understand. Maybe more than you know, but... For now, I think we need to calm down I and just calm. You're right, of course. Getting upset isn't going to help. Okay. We both need to get to the place you call Starlight Rise. But that tower seems like it knocks anything nearby out of the sky, out of the water, too. It fires at any watercraft in range. Oh, great. Well, it seems to me you've got some kind of plan in mind to deal with it. Maybe. Between the two of us, there might be a way. Well, you're a good fighter, that's for sure. But beyond that, I don't know much about you. There's not much to tell. Nothing special about me. Except, my sister is pretty well known among my people. You don't seem so ordinary to me. I was just a petty officer until we ran aground. But we lost a lot of midshipmen and lieutenants to the storm and the wreck. And now, even more of them are missing. So, I've been trying to step up and help the Admiral. It took a lot of guts putting on that focus. Seems to me he needs more like you. Huh. <laughs> Tell that to Rang in his toadies. So your sister is a navigator? More like the navigator. The only Quen who can steer by the stars without instruments. She reads the sky like a scroll. Knows every constellation by position, no matter how much it spins around up there. Which means she's been an Imperial favorite ever since her first exam. One of the fleet's most precious assets. And now she's gone. She and the others just disappeared? After we made landfall, the hard way, the Admiral sent out scouting expeditions with the very few boats we had left. Not one of them returned. I don't know what happened to them all, but I do know it has something to do with that tower. And Starlight Rise. We're agreed on that. Is there anything else you can tell me about that tower? It just appeared one day a couple of weeks ago after our scout boats went missing. And it shoots at anything in the sky or sea. Machines, boats, you. Okay, don't remind me. I tried to get near it, but it's mounted on a tall ruin with machines all around. On the plus side, its range is limited. I've been testing it with my skiff and setting up buoys to mark the radius. <laughs> Can't tell if that's smart or reckless. Both, maybe. I'll admit there have been a couple of near misses. You think there's a way to do something about that tower? If we want to reach Starlight Rise, we have to try. I was able to approach the tower on foot, but I couldn't get close enough to shoot at it or anything like that. With the right help, though... Show me the way and we'll give it a shot. You'll probably want to resupply first. You can use my skiff if you need to hunt for resources. Just stay south of the settlement. The tower can't hit that side. I set up some buoys to mark its radius. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna go clear my head. There's a bridge that leads to the ruins where the tower is mounted. I'll wait for you on the other side. Hold on. There's one more thing. The, the Quen here, all of this. 
You were part of a larger expedition, right? Headed for San Francisco? That's how you know about us. And you've seen the others, haven't you? And they're alive. Most of them, yeah. I can put you in touch with them, but we should find your missing people first, right? They're alive. This is great news. But yes, you're right, it, it should wait. If we tell everyone now, it'll just be a distraction. So for the sake of the missing, we have to keep the focus on them. All right then, I'll see you on the other side of the bridge. Might not be a bad idea to resupply before I meet Seika. Or I could explore a little with her skiff first. I might have just the look for you. You're missing out. Okay, maybe it's time to meet up with Seika and head to the tower. Aloy, over here! Hey, I'm here. So, uh, how do we get to the tower? These trails will lead us to it. Take your pick. Okay, let's go. So you know a lot about my people, but I barely know anything about you. Like who you're looking for at Starlight Rise? Uh, he's a, uh, fugitive. Come on, that's all you've got? Let's just focus on getting to the tower. So mysterious. Water wing. The other day, I saw the tower shoot down an entire flock. Four things crashed into the sea south of Fleet's End. I've never seen one before. That tower's gotta go.
We're getting close to the tower. Last time I was there, I didn't get very far in. We'll find a way. There's some kind of machine growth. Haven't seen that before. Kind of looks like an egg. I've got your back! One of those eggs. Okay. Those definitely weren't here last time. Oh. Those eggs are everywhere. Yep. I've got a feeling we're about to find out what laid them. Let's move in. Carefully. Whoa! Big ugly machine alert! We'll have to deal with it to get into the tower. Let's see what you got then. You're hot. Make your move. Jumper! 
goes. Yeah. Good fight. Come on. The entrance I found is this way. Later, for sure. Shall we continue? I'll have to warn our patrols later. I doubt that machine was the only one of its kind. Feels like every day there's something new that's trying to kill us. I know the feeling. here. Just gotta get across. Think you can make it? Watch me. This is as far as I got. I couldn't find a way to get further up. Let me take a look around. Fugitive, I need to know who we're dealing with. It can't be a coincidence that he and my people are both at Starlight Rise. His name's Walter Londra. He's a Zenith. It's what the Quen would call a living ancestor. A living ancestor? But that would mean he's been alive for centuries. Yep. Tides take me. You're serious.
after you. Well, uh, there you go, Seika. Thanks. Think you could get that vent open? <laughs> she flies, she fights the demons, and she has fancy moves. <laughs> Wish you'd come along earlier. Might have gotten more done by now. I bet you must be pretty important to your tribe. I grew up an outcast, actually. Oh. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm better off without them. And from what I saw back at the settlement, maybe you would be too. I am one of the chosen people. Not some weak-kneed sailor who abandons ship when the seas get rough. Okay. Never mind. I think we're almost at the top. Then we can find a way to shut the tower down. <laughs> Sounds like the tower has found another target. Tower down to another machine. I can't wait to shut it down. of crystal oh strong smell merchants might be interested though made it this definitely looks like something laundry would have built well okay but how do we stop it when part of it's way up there Take a look around.
Never seen anything like this. But there's gotta be a way to stop it. This might be some kind of access node. It's coming down! Aloy, I truly hope you've enjoyed this tower. I set it up just for you. Oh, great. A recording from Londra. Let it be a reminder that unlike my former colleagues, I one step in. How are we supposed to stop this thing? Let me see. All drugs fire! <laughs> out okay and now your machine can get us to starlight rise right yeah i saw it fly off when i crashed i should be able to call it back one step closer to finding my sister and the living ancestor you're after but i should probably report to the admiral first give him some assurance that we've made progress okay i'll meet you back at the settlement then you know i'm kind of glad you tagged along
It's about to get loud. 